Hello, this is Patrick of Lone Wolf Software, and this is a quick little video tutorial on how to print, uh, view, and even export reports in uh, Contact 12, our contact management software application for Windows. And you can actually export these reports into many different, multiple formats that are supported in the software. So what you see right now on your screen is um, Contact Wolf. And I have, let's see, I have one record loaded, uh, Albert Abner and the A's under the personal directory. We have three directories in Contact Wolf, personal, business, and a customized directory. You can customize to your own needs. So you can print the entire, uh, the personal directory, business directory. But what we're going to do today is select uh, specific records to print a report to and view the, view the data for those records that you select. And the way you do that in Contact Wolf is you have to tag the records. It's just a way of really flagging records. And you can, once you flag records in Contact Wolf, you can do a lot of things. You can export them. You can email those, uh, send email to all those records, export them to different formats, lots of things you can do. In this case, we're going to just tag the records so we can view a report for those specific records. So if you want to, right now we have the A's selected. So if you want to just select quickly all the A records, just click on the Tag All button. You'll see a little message here that pops up 11 records tagged, and you see little check marks next to the records, which lets you know that they're tagged. And this, let's, let's go ahead and get a few more in here. So we'll click on the B, and we'll click Tag All. So 25 records tagged. And let's go to, uh, how about L's? Only one L anyway. So we'll just click Tag on that one, and maybe we'll go to the M's, and we'll select one record and tag that one. Let's go back to the A's. Now, if you want to see all the records that you have tagged, click on the show tag button and you show you see all the records that are currently tagged. Now printing a report is really easy. Simply click on the uh, reports button and you see the report viewer pops up and this is where you can uh, select different formats for the reports. In this case uh, we have the personal records here. It says select report type. We have personal records selected. That would print reports that would show all the data in the whole in the entire personal directory. We, we don't want to do that right now. We want to just uh, view the data for the records that we selected or tagged. So click on the tag records only option. And then uh, where it says select a tag record report to view or print, this is where you select the format of the uh, report you want to see. So we'll just go through a few of them here. I'll show you how the formats differ. Uh, we'll pick the first one here, report T1. T1 just means tagged record report 1. And it actually shows you what will be displayed in the report, last name, first name, company, phone. So you see here, the report's displayed here very quickly, and you can cycle through by clicking on the little right arrow buttons and go through the report, and of course backwards too. Let's pick another format, let's go to T2, and you see slightly different format. You can choose the format you like. Uh, there's another different format. This one shows a little, a little bit more, it shows actually comments. Comments are included in this report. Um, there's one uh, also a little bit different format. You can see all the formatting is different. You have a lot of things to choose from. You can find a report that you're happy with. And now we're going to go ahead and um, if you wanted to print this report, print it out to a printer, you would just simply select on the printer print report button. But in this case, we're going to export this report to a different format. So right next to the print button is a export report button. Simply click on that and select your format. And you can see there's lots of different formats that are uh, currently supported in the software. Uh, you could, for example, uh, select Microsoft Word. Uh, it's a, just a Windows document or a text file, XML, tab separated values, um, just all kinds of different, uh, even you have different formats of Excel here you can choose from. Lots of different formats you can choose. So you would just choose a format and then a destination, which would be a disk file in this case, but you can also choose other other options. And um, you can even export it to an application. And then click OK, and you're ready to go. The, all the data will be exported in the format you selected. And then you can use it in other software, or um, load it or import it into other applications. And that's really all there is to it. It's a very simple to, to do, a very powerful option in Contact Wolf to be able to view, print, and export the data in different formats. Let's get out of this. And um, in this case, we still have all these records selected, so you can easily unselect them by right-clicking in this in this box and um, clicking on the C, untagged all the records. Let's go back to the A's. And I should also say we support groups of records in Contact Wolf. So by clicking on any of these groups, you can see records that have been assigned to a particular group. And that's another way to choose records in Contact Wolf. So for instance, you go to the Christmas group, 
and click on the tag all button and now you're just going to send a, maybe a, a print out a report for your Christmas records for example so anyway it's a very powerful option in um, in a contact wolf and um, uh, that's pretty much it for uh, this video and uh, please come back and we have a lot more videos you can uh, view on our on our website thanks again for listening bye